So the first cool thing we can do, which is really four in one, is check the status of our remote control batteries, check how busy our device is, how much free RAM we have left, and even the resolution of any video playing on the screen. So all of these things can be done by simply using the developer tools menu. Just go to search on your Fire Stick, type in DEV. There we can see the developer tools menu. Let's click on that, install it, open it. Let's now turn on the system X-ray. And very quickly now I can confirm on the top left exactly the resolution that's running on my Fire Stick. I can see the four CPUs there telling you how busy my device is. I can see how much free memory I have on my device. And even on the top right, I can even see that my remote control currently has 58% of its battery left. So very easy to use and to quickly see what's happening on your device. And if you enable the advanced options, when you now start any video on your device, I can confirm on the right exactly what codec is being used and more importantly, the exact resolution that's currently being played. So if you're worried that maybe Netflix or one of these other applications is not showing you true HD or ultra HD, you can confirm the exact resolution by following this tip. Next up, your device is running a bit slow, maybe running a bit sluggish. What's the easiest way you can restart here? Now, when I say restart, I don't just mean pressing and holding the home button and clicking on sleep. What I actually mean is a full reboot. Now, when your device reboots, all of those running processes, all of those things running in the background are actually terminated. So it is kind of like refreshing your device. Now, the quickest and easiest way to do that is just press the play and the select buttons together. So these two buttons I'm gonna press and hold. So play and select, ready, steady, press and hold. Then count to five, four, three, two, one we get the message that your device is now powering off. Now, especially if you are running lots of different applications, lots of APKs, lots of different things on your device, then I highly recommend always rebooting your device before you start your streaming session or your movie night, whatever it is, really just restarting your device once a day really does keep it running at optimal performance. Next up, you want to update all of your installed applications. Let's say you've installed applications from Downloader, maybe somebody's file linked, maybe from App Toy TV, all the different application repositories, how can we now update them with a single application? Well, for that, I recommend you install this single application called APK Updater. Let's click on that. And I have done more of a detailed review in a previous video. As soon as you start the application, you can scroll down. I can go to Updates. And this now shows me all of the applications on my device that have updates available and a fantastic way you can keep all of your applications up to date. Next up, we have some cool things you can do with the onboard assistant. Like, did you know, for example, you could say open settings and within one second, it takes you straight into settings. So, so we can use that to navigate around our device. We can also interact with other applications. So for example, I could say watch Tech Doctor UK on YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. And within one second, and we can see that then opens up YouTube and takes you straight to my channel. So very easy to use your voice and navigate around these applications. And the last cool thing you can do is to use your voice to set timers and also reminders. And this was only added into the Fire Stick a few months ago. So I can say, for example, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes starting now. And we can see we get the time notification there. And we can also say, set a reminder for 9 p.m. tomorrow to take out the laundry. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 9 p.m. And there it is. And now if you want to see your timers or your reminders, I can say, show my reminders. Here is your upcoming reminder. There they are. And I can now cancel that if I want to. And lastly, show me my timers. Here are your timers. Okay, I can now also cancel that. So again, guys, that's all built into your Fire Stick. Lots of great features, and you can access all of that using your voice on the remote control. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Fire Stick, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Next up, maybe your device is now on its last legs. Maybe it's become very unresponsive or maybe you just want a fresh start on your device, what's the easiest way to reset it? Well, there is a remote control shortcut you can do, which is just by holding the back button and the right directional button for 10 seconds. So 
the right and the back, let's hold those down. And in a couple of seconds, or should we say in about 10 seconds, we should then get the prompt asking us, do you want to fully, there you go. So this now means if I click on OK, all of my applications, all of my settings, all of the files on my Fire Stick will be completely deleted and it will essentially be like I'm getting a fresh Fire Stick. And lots of people do actually do this maybe once a year just to have a fresh start, clear out all of those old applications, junk files, and just make your Fire Stick like it's brand new. Next up we have screen mirroring and I mean for iPhones and iPads and any other Apple devices. We saw in my last video that if you just press and hold the home key, on the remote, we get the option there for mirroring, but this process only works for Android devices. So let's say for example, I have an iPhone and I want to share the screen onto my Fire Stick or Fire TV. And the easiest way to do that is to use an application called Air Screen. So let's install that now, Air Screen. Then I'll show you some of the tweaks you can do in the application to give you the best possible performance. So let's click on Air Screen. It's a totally free application. Let's click on that to install it. And let's click on install and okay that's now installed let's open that up let's click on start now okay so the first thing you want to do is go over to your settings press right on the remote let's click on settings again okay so here you have the device name so this is what's actually going to appear on your iphone or your ipad or your your apple device so let's click on that let's just call it something so let's just call it tduk tv let's click on next let's click on okay because I only want to use this application for AirPlay, I'm going to turn off these other features. I'm going to turn off Google Cast. I'm going to turn off DLNA. Let's click on more and make sure you have hardware acceleration enabled. Let's click on that. And that's pretty much it guys. Let's press back on the remote. Let's go up to the top and let's now click on start. Now what this means is this application is now ready to accept a connection request from an iDevice like an iPhone or an iPad. So on your iDevice, if we just swipe up from the bottom and we can see we have an option here for screen mirroring. So let's click on that and we can see we have one option in the list which is the TDUK TV. Let's click on that again. On the screen we get the message processing client requests. Let's click OK on the remote. And there we have it guys. We can now see the screen off my phone. I can minimize this. I can now go back to playing some uh, iPhone games. Uh, click on resume. And here is TDUK destroying some stuff. And of course guys, whatever you do on your phone, whether you're watching something or playing a game or looking at photos, all of that will now be beamed directly onto your Fire TV and it works exactly like that guys. So really easy to use and this will give you the full screen mirroring capability that we saw in my previous video, but just on your iOS device. Let's back out of that. Next step is how you can control your Fire Stick or Fire TV by just using your remote control. And it's actually a really handy feature because recently I was trying to set up an old Fire Stick and I couldn't find the remote control for it. If you just open up the App Store on your phone and you're looking for an application called Amazon Fire TV and it looks like that with the official Amazon logo, let's just install that. Okay, once you install, you open it up. And this will now basically do a scan of your wireless network and it'll show you all of the Fire Sticks or Fire TV devices you can find. Now in my case has found quite a few. So let me just select the right one, which is this one here. And you know it's the right one because when you click on it, you'll see this on the screen. And this is basically just asking you like, this device is trying to make a connection to remote control your device. Do you allow it? And the way you allow it is you're entering this code onto your phone. So I'm gonna enter in 3014. And I now see this on my phone guys. So now I can easily just, just swipe left and right. And we can see I can actually fully control my Fire Stick just using my remote control. And it's not just a normal remote control, you can also issue voice commands. I can use the virtual keyboard. So here I can just type in, for example, uh, YouTube. So we can see guys, I can actually use my phone as a virtual keyboard. So it really is a great way to interface with your device just by using your smartphone. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I hope you found at least some of those tips useful or you learned something new today. I really want to wish all of you guys happy holidays. Hope you guys have a great 2022 and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.